I was at my first foster parent house on Old National Highway. He was about 61 years old, and I I was still going to, I was still going to throw, but to convince the DFAT system, I had to do martyr because I still didn't want to transfer. Uh, I wanted to stay at one school because if I did transfer. You know, it just seemed like something was going on in my life. You know, no one knew what was going on in my life at all. I wanted to keep it that way. I already built relationships at Thoreau, and I wanted to, you know, keep that, you know? If I could put Next Gen in one word, I would say village. The reason I, I chose that word, village for Next Generation Men, is because you have your brothers, and you have your coach, and then you have, uh, you know, the people that are working with Next Gen. You know, you have all these people all together for my greater good, you know, for a greater purpose for myself, you know. Mr. Tober, he was our coach, right? Initially, he was a teacher, but then he became our coach for the program. We got closer because I eventually started, you know, opening up about my personal life. And so he was there for me even outside of the program. He's like a mentor to me now, you know. So, Next Gen, they, you know, you guys offer all of that. You know, it's like all in one, you know. And that's why, you know, the people that I've met through Next Gen, you know, you guys are still a part of my life. You know, and y'all are gonna stay a part of my life. After graduating high school, I went to uh, Albany State University. I finished my first year there. Uh, and then I went to, I transferred to Georgia State University. I chose psychology because it's a field where I get to talk to people and meet new people. And also, I like to write. So, potentially, as a therapist, I can write my own books. I would encourage people to support Next Gen's work because it's an outlet from everything that's going on in your life. 